In this video, I'm gonna show you how, as a content creator, if you started using Google Sheets, even a little bit, how you'll be able to transform your workflows and save you a ton of time. As a full-time content creator and affiliate marketer, I'm constantly trying to streamline my processes because I'm a one-man band. I don't tend to hire anyone, I literally do everything myself. And I realize one of the most handy tools I have in my arsenal is a free one called Google Sheets. Now, I upload a lot of videos onto YouTube across many different channels. And one thing I'm constantly doing over and over is playing with the on-page optimization or the keywords inside my titles, my descriptions, and my tags. So I found myself creating Google Sheet templates, which will automatically populate when I enter keywords. Now, this is extremely fundamental stuff, but I realize not many content creators or business owners or anyone in business uses Google Sheets to its full potential, even with the more basic stuff like basic concatenation. Here I am inside my Google Sheets document and I have three titles. I've got YouTube titles, YouTube descriptions, and YouTube, ta YouTube tags. Now you'll notice on each one, they all include a keyword. And that keyword is something that I'm going to want to automatically replace when I import a keyword. And I wanna do it for each YouTube description and YouTube tag. So predominantly I review softwares for a living. So one of my favorite things to do on YouTube is review softwares. And over time I realized there's only so many titles I can give to each YouTube video. And often the only thing that changes that much is in fact the product name. So the product name is going to populate where it says keyword. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. I want to pre-populate all of these words with just the product title. So the product title in this scenario is, let's just play a game and say YouTube. So now I want all of these to populate with YouTube. So we're gonna to have to create some formulas for that. So the first formula is going to be for this line and under cell H, we're going to do the starting of the formula, which is equal sign. And we're going to say B1. Now you'll see it's highlighted the YouTube field. Next, we're going to add the and symbol followed by quotation and then do space and type in review colon followed by space and how to use. And then we're going to close the quotation mark, do another and symbol because the and symbol joins things together. And once again, do B1. So now this one field has automatically started populating. You'll see that these two fields here are in fact the exact same, but this one has now got YouTube there. Now, if we change this keyword here to let's say Facebook, it's automatically changed that line to Facebook. So let's go ahead and apply the exact same concept to these lines as well. So once again, I'm gonna start the formula off with equals. I'm gonna open up the quotation marks and do I tried. I'm going to do a space, close the quotation mark, do and, and again do B1. We're now going to do another and sign and then do open quotation mark, space, and here are my thoughts. And then close the quotation mark. But you'll see that I've missed off the explanation mark. So I'm just going to select that field again, go next to the B1, add another and symbol, followed by a open quotation mark, explanation mark, close quotation mark, and enter. And there you have it. So now if I change this field here to Twitter, that's now changed all the other fields as well. And we're going to do the exact same for these fields as well. So again, we open up the, uh, the equal symbol, opening quotation mark, what I liked about, close the quotation mark, do and symbol, because we're joining something together, and then do B1, press enter, and there we have it. And we're going to quickly do it on the final one, which is equal, opening up the equal sign, and then do top 10 features of, we're gonna do the and sign, and then do B1. We've created these dynamic sentences where instead of writing out each of these sentences, we can just replace this one field. So let's say Xbox, and it will automatically replace all the other fields. Now, the thing is, is that I'm only doing this with one word, but let's say we wanted to replace the number 10, and we wanted to do it on like 10 different uh, lines. So all we needed to do is in another field, let's say we wanted the five best, 
and then inside the sentence field we just go over here and next to top we would just close off the quotation mark and then we do and and we just say c1 and then we do another and and we open it back up again and we remove 10 and then as simple as that the top five features of xbox so if i now change this field and let's say 11 that changes to 11 and if we change this field here we're going to change it to let's say youtube again and it changes to youtube and very quickly you can create tons and tons of sentences which have these capabilities of quickly changing all of the words possible in just a matter of seconds let's go ahead and move on to youtube description and we're going to do the exact same thing so here we're just going to do equals then we're going to do an open quotation in this we're going to close the quotation and symbol and again we just do b1 add a and symbol open quotation space and then we do review i'm going to talk about and then we close the quotation and there we have it and again we're going to do the exact same thing here open up the formula with an equal sign open quotation i loved talking about space close the quotation add the and symbol and then do b1 and and again let's do the third one equals open quotation here are all the best things about space close quotation and sign and then b1 so now if we change youtube to let's say once again google there you have it and then all of a sudden it's changed them all to google just like that finally youtube tags so for the youtube tag this is no different you've got a list of tags and all of those tags need a specific word there so again very simple equals and then we were going to add the keyword which is b1 the and symbol open quotation and then we just do review close quotation and again just go here and add in equals b1 and open quotation demo and then close it off like that so in less than 10 minutes, you can have a Google Sheets document that acts as a YouTube title generator, a YouTube description generator, and a YouTube tag generator. Now, this is actually very, very simple stuff, and there are so many more creative ways that I can show you on how to do all of this. So if you would like me to go into more detail and show you more creative ways of how I use Google Sheets for my businesses and to streamline my content creation, make sure to comment your questions below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.